Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to read a tape measure. In this video, I will be outlining the various markings on a tape measure and talking to you about what they mean. Let's get right to it. As you can see, I have a tape measure right here and I'm just going to open it up so that you can see the various markings on the tape measure. Now I'll do my best to keep the glare of the sun off of the tape measure to give you a, the best possible view. So as you can see, um, the majority of tape measures will show you uh, an indication of the number of inches and the number of feet, okay? So as you can see right here, we start at zero, which is over here, and then we have one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, and as we bring the tape measure further out, you will see that it will also show us the number of feet in addition to the number of inches. So once we get right here, you can see that it shows that this is 12 inches, but this is also one foot. This is 13 inches, but this is also one foot, one inch. 14 inches is also one foot, two inches, okay? So that is how you read the largest lines on the tape measure, which are these full length lines as you can see right here, okay? So that is how you read the largest lines. Now I'm just gonna bring it closer so that we get a better view of all the smaller lines. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at the smaller lines and I'm just gonna bring this just like this so that we can sort of get the absolute best possible view. So we're gonna focus on these lines right here between the 10 and the 11. Now you'll notice that there are many smaller lines, um, smaller lines other than the full length, so ones that are smaller than the full length lines in between each inch. Okay, so between this inch and this inch from 10 to 11, there are many smaller lines. Now you'll notice that there are different lengths. So these lengths of the lines, um, there are larger ones and there are much, much smaller ones. So the larger the line, the bigger the interval is. So basically, if you look right here, the largest line that we can see other than the full inch lines, and I'll, I'll actually get a, a pen to show you, um, you know, so I can sort of get it, give you a better view. So the, sorry about that, I'm having some trouble here. The largest lines that we see are these ones right here, okay? Now these are the half inch lines, okay? So from here to here is a half an inch, and then here to here is a half an inch. Now the next length in line is right here. These are quarters, okay? So from here to here is a quarter of an inch. This is two quarters of an inch, otherwise known as half. Three quarters of an inch, four quarters of an inch, otherwise known as a whole inch, okay? The next smallest line that we see are these right here. These are eight inches right here, you can see right here. So this is one eighth, two eighths, otherwise known as a quarter, three eighths, four eighths, otherwise known as a half, five eighths, six eighths, otherwise known as three quarters, and then seven eighths, and eight eighths, otherwise known as a whole. And the last but not least final marking that you can see, the smallest marking that you see are these small, tiny little lines right here. These are sixteenths of an inch. So from here to here is a sixteenth of an inch. This is two sixteenths, oops, otherwise known as an eighth, three sixteenths, four sixteenths, otherwise known as a quarter, five sixteenths, six sixteenths, otherwise known as three eighths, seven sixteenths, 8 sixteenths, otherwise known as a half, 9 sixteenths, 10 sixteenths, otherwise known as 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, otherwise known as 3 quarters, 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, otherwise known as 7 eighths, and then 15 sixteenths and 16 sixteenths, otherwise known as a whole. And that's basically it. In this video, I have told you how to read a tape measure, okay? So I've outlined all of the markings that you see on a tape measure, and I've told you how to read them using the various fractions of an inch. Once again, it's a very simple process, and if you are using a tape measure, you know, once you have used it a few times and you've read a few of the measurements using the information that I've told you in this video, you will become better and better, and you will be able to just look at the line and know what the actual actual reading of the measurement is with some practice. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.